how does he have the right to do this? We voted it. The people. We. And then he comes in, one man comes in and just starts taking over without even asking our opinion. Emotions are overwhelming tonight for a Valley woman whose three-year-old great-granddaughter was murdered. Ruth Williams says Governor Gavin Newsom's executive order to stop death row executions is adding insult to injury to her family in the worst way. Action News anchor Jason Oliveira joins us with reactions from local families and law enforcement who are speaking out for crime victims. Jason? Margo, it's a topic that draws some pretty intense debates. California has had the death penalty since 1978 and can only be repealed by vote. Well, Governor Newsom cannot repeal that law, but said today he will grant reprieves to anyone who is sentenced to death while he holds office. California's newly elected governor, Gavin Newsom, announced Wednesday he was pulling the plug on the state's death penalty. We are, as I speak, as I speak, shutting down, removing the equipment in the death chamber at San Quentin. The executive order only suspends executions in the state while Newsom's in office. He argues capital punishment costs too much and is unequally and unfairly used on the mentally disabled and people of color. Local attorney Jonathan Rooker says the move goes against what California residents want. Voters have rejected an initiative to abolish the death penalty and in 2016 even approved to help speed up the process. That one issue is the part that I have the I take issue with the most. The fact that the voters said yes, keep it, and the governor says not while I'm here. It's different than what the voters' will is. He's supposed to represent us, and that is my biggest issue with it. The policy will serve as an instant reprieve for the 737 people on death row, including dozens from the Valley. In January 2017, Exeter resident Christopher Cherry was sentenced to death for the murder of three-year-old Sophia Acosta. Her great-grandmother is now speaking out about the governor's decision. I remember her sleeping in my bed with me and holding my hand. I said, Nana, I love you, Nana. Nobody can bring that back. Nobody, but she has the right to have justice. Williams believes Christopher Cherry does not have the right to live after a jury convicted him of murdering, raping, and torturing little Sophia in May of 2011. That was the closure we had to see him die was my closure. To see him die, and I would have walked to San Quentin when they put him, I don't care if I had to walk there, I would have got there to watch it. Now, upon hearing today's news, Tulare County's District Attorney Tim Ward released a statement that read in part, it is abundantly clear that victims and the will of California voters are not a priority for Governor Newsom. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.